as well as not just our power systems. This heat, of course, can be dangerous for your health as well. Alex Clay spoke to a local doctor about what you can do to stay safe when temperatures soar. It is hot, and whether you are outside in the pool or inside in the cool air conditioning, people I spoke to throughout Howard County are just trying to find ways to beat this heat. The weather outside is real hot, humid, hellish, miserable. <laughs> we have vanilla and chocolate. While some people in Howard County are trying to find ways to beat the heat, we're staying cool by ice cream and snowballs. Others are embracing the heat, but hydration is key. It's super important to stay hydrated, right? Uh, get some electrolytes, like I drink Gatorade. Um, and lots of water. Water is important, but hydration isn't the only thing Aaron Yoon reminded her son about before he headed outside today. If you feel like you're getting lightheaded, you feel like you're overheating, take a break, get some water. You know, if you need to, get into the shade, come inside, take a rest. Dr. Mark Goldstein is the medical director of Sinai Emergency Department. He says about 700 people per year die from heat related illnesses. When temperatures exceed 95 to 100 degrees, uh, many people are going to be vulnerable um, to heat related illness and even death. Dr. Goldstein says hydration is important, but when temperatures are extreme, it's best to avoid long exposure to the heat. Really, if there's a place to, to get inside where there's air conditioning, climate control, uh, that, that's really critical for, during these heat waves. A list of cooling centers located throughout the state can be found on WJZ.com. In Howard County, Alex Glaze, WJZ.